Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the importance of correlation between currency trading and commodity trading. First and foremost, let's explain what is correlation. The term, what does it mean? If you Google it, if you look it up, it would simply mean uh, the relationship between two or more things and their mutual connection. Now, in the financial markets, correlation is a statistical measure between two assets that determines their relationship with each other. So let's get into it a lot more. What does it mean? It means that when a particular currency pair moves up, certain commodities, the most popular, the most traded ones like gold or oil, Brent oil, they tend to move either together, which is identical, mutual, or in reverse. In other one, the price of one goes up, the price of the other one drops. Now, you might say, why is this so important? Okay, well, first and foremost, like I said, gold and oil tend to be some kind of a safe haven asset. What is a safe haven asset? Whenever there is uncertainty in the market, traders tend to turn into those so-called safe haven assets. When they don't know what to trade or they're panicking, or right now, especially with the war, traders turn to turn into those safe haven assets. Now, at the same time, they tend to affect the movement of currencies, depending on which currency, depending on the correlation in between them. Again, it is very important for a trader to be to pay attention to those. Quite simply, if they move together, you know that you can have possibly two winning trades of two different asset classes. If they move in reverse, again, it's an indicator that something might go down. So let's take a minute here and more or less analyze this. What do I mean by that? Imagine a correlation of gold with a certain currency. Okay, let's imagine that they have a reverse correlation. And again, let's imagine that gold is increasing and that specific currency is decreasing. Now remember, that currency trades into a pair. So when that currency drops and this one goes up, okay, understandable, this one goes up. But that currency dropping, since it trades with a pair, other pairs might have the same direction. Oh my God! Wow! I hope you understand this. Again, let me give you an example. Currency A, which is the base currency, is dropping because the commodity is increasing. And then the same currency, it's a base currency with another pair. So you have two currency pairs dropping because this one is increasing. I hope this makes you get the idea. And vice versa. And again, let's think of it as a mutual movement. So again, the price of oil, let's assume that it's dropping and it has an identical mutual correlation. So you have one currency dropping. That currency, which is traded with a pair, would have the same movement with another pair. So this is very beneficial for you and this is good to know and pay attention to it. Because first and foremost, you can have quite a few successful trades. Second one, it is an indicator of the country's economical strength, as we mentioned before. Now, adding all this up, you can imagine the outcome. As a matter of fact, you will improve as a trader. There you have it. Now, one thing that I want to bring to your attention, correlations are not a an exact science. So you need to be paying attention and you need to be making your research. And as we said on previous videos, okay, self-awareness, self-taught. Okay, keep this in mind, some popular correlations are. Uh, the United States dollar with gold and oil, the Australian dollar with gold, the Canadian dollar with oil, uh, the Swiss franc with gold, uh, the Japanese yen with oil, and the list can go on. So make sure you do your research, keep an eye out, and hope you do succeed. Once more, this is Neo from Fondex. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for your time. See ya.